This is All India Radio Shalom, the Northeast News Bulletin read by Rahul Chatterjee. The President, Vice President and Prime Minister greeted the people of Manipur, Meghalaya and Tripura on their statehood day yesterday. In a tweet, President Ramnath Kovind extended best wishes to all the residents of the states for a bright and prosperous future. Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu hoped that with unique festivals, arts, crafts, hard-working trade of the people and their benevolent attitude towards nature, the three states will witness rapid development in the coming years. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said, Manipur is known for its vibrant culture and hoped that the state will keep progressing in the years ahead. He also said, the people of Meghalaya are known for their kind and compassionate nature and from sports, music to conservation of nature, there is much to learn from them. The Prime Minister said India is proud of Tripura's exemplary traditions and contribution to national development. Meghalaya celebrated the 48th anniversary of statehood with cultural fanfares immersed in remnants of the hill state movement that led up to the declaration of Meghalaya as a separate state in 1972. Traditional songs and dances marked the celebration at the Usoso Tham Auditorium, Shillong. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma stressed on the need to remember the glorious past, document it and pass it on to the younger generations. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma yesterday inaugurated the Meghalaya Entrepreneurship and Startup Summit 2020 at State Convention Centre, Shillong. The summit was a culmination of Chief Minister's E-Champion Challenge 2019 that was launched in August last year with the objective of identifying and encouraging potential entrepreneurs from across the state. The challenge has identified Meghalaya's top 100 entrepreneurs who will receive incubation support and mentoring session for a period of one year at the Prime Hubs in Shillong and Tura. CEO of Niti Ayog, Amitabh Kant, said the institution will support the Meghalaya government with 10 incubation centers. Mizoram Governor P.S. Sridharan Pillai has urged the center to establish an AIMS-like medical institute, an IIT and an IIM in the state. He made the request during his meeting with Union Home Minister Amit Shah in New Delhi last week. He also asked Mr. Shah to take steps to construct a road connecting Long Klai in South Mizoram with Bangladesh capital Dhaka and widen National Highway 306 that connects the state with Silchar to four lanes. The governor also raised issues with border fencing with Bangladesh and expansion of Lengpui Airport. Assam Chief Minister Sarvananda Sonowal yesterday urged the youth to realize their potential and commit themselves to the development of society. Value-based services are of utmost importance in today's world and working for only individual success does not give much satisfaction, Mr. Sonowal said. He was speaking at the concluding ceremony of the three-day Chief Minister's Youth Conclave in Guwahati. The Youth Conclave, organized by the Assam State Level Advisory Committee, offered a platform to the students to seek guidance from experts in entrepreneurship and self-employment opportunities. Noted Bollywood actor Vivek Oberoi, who was invited to the conclave, shared anecdotes from his life's struggles and inspired the students with stories of his philanthropy. In Kelo India Youth Games in Guwahati, host Assam wrapped up the Lawn Bowls campaign with seven gold medals out of ten that were at stake yesterday. In swimming, Shivangi Sarma of Assam won gold in 50-meter freestyle, taking her gold tally to five. Maharashtra girl Kenisha Gupta has bagged a total of five gold medals in swimming so far. Mizoram won the boys' under-17 football gold by defeating Assam. Assam's new swimming sensation Shivangi won five gold medals in individual and two silver medals in team events. In boys under 21 category, Maharashtra's Mihir Amre won gold and Karnataka's Srihari Nataraj got silver in 50 meter freestyle. In lawn bowls, Assam players won gold in mixed triples and mixed pairs. In badminton under 21 categories, Gujarat girl Tasneem Irfan and Amit Rathor of Madhya Pradesh clinched gold medals. The games will end today with a gala concluding ceremony. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day.